than normal ambulance. Why? Because today I am escaping from London. <laughs> Are you stinky cesspit? Suburbs. The next station is the final station to which Oyster cards have added on this service. Yes, I am now at Princess Risborough. I've got my walk instructions. I must not lose these, otherwise I'm screwed. And I'm heading into the country. Classic countryside. Do not forget the essential suntan lotion, a must for any bald pate. I think he's gone off. I am being circled by an increasing number of buzzards. There we go. In case you're wondering, that is Lacey Green Windmill, the oldest smock windmill dating back to 1650. I have no idea what a smock windmill means. Well, viewers, I'm very glad to see the back of that Lacey Green place. First sign, things are a bit weird, all with slightly sexual names. And secondly, some bastard horse lures me into stroking it with his semi-attractive face knowing full well that I'm going to get an electric shock off the fence when I put my hand over. Ow! What a prick! Can you stop being muddy please? Thank you. Ow! Ah. It is absolutely beautiful in these woods, but a lady walking a dog just saw me talking to myself and just, uh, clearly thinks I'm mental. Probably right. Look, there's um, a deer in there. He's looking at me in there. for a pub lunch. <sighs> lunch was almost perfect. The beer garden was empty, the sun was out, my food had just arrived, and then within two minutes of it arriving, one of the biggest pricks in the history of mankind arrived to ruin it. I mean, what am I? Some sort of prick magnet. Just regaling his friends who clearly hated him with the most tedious of stories, using the F-bomb for every other verb, adjective and noun. Oh, this shit was kidding me. That's it. Really go for it. Here are the things I've learnt from my day out in the country. Number one, people call their houses 
some really weird names. Zlatarog, Bumbleys, Huge End and Chase, and possibly the worst, All Wood. Come on, mate, that is brickwork. Number two, a lot of mud. Arsehole. And number three, the views are spectacular. Take a look at this bastard. Four, there are lots of places you could potentially get murdered, and this is one of them. Number five, it's brilliant. I'm in the woods now and I really need a piss, but I'm stuck in between a lady with a dog in front and a lady with a dog behind. So some sort of anti-piss sandwich it is absolute hell. It's just gone 3.30 and I'm heading into Great Missenden to go to the Roald Dahl Museum. So, a slightly sweaty man going to a children's museum just as school finishes. Good luck. I've just come out of the museum. I've very much enjoyed it. There was hardly anyone there, so I didn't look like some sort of weird sex pest. I got to see where Roald Dahl went to school, dressed up in his clothes, a bit weird. Um, did some flying, saw where he wrote, saw his desk, all very interesting. And I got a free book and bought a fridge magnet. Result, now I'm off home to hit rush hour. Brilliant. I'll see you tomorrow.